Find your comfortable seat and close the eyes. Just begin to take some nice deep breaths. In through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Taking a moment to land in your body. To just land exactly as you are in this moment in time, in this space, in this place. In full acceptance of any aches or pains, whether they're physical, mental, or emotional. In full acceptance of any place that were creaky or stuck. And in full acceptance of your light, your radiance, your wants, your needs, your desires, your intentions. Isn't that the gift of the present moment that within it exists the past, the traumas and dramas, the aches and pains, the injuries and accidents. And within the present moment also exists the future, your triumphs, your victories. And yes, your intentions, your manifestations, your desires, And while we do the work on the physical, mental, and emotional level to heal the past, recognize that it's just as important to do an equal amount of work to grow the future. Just like working in the garden. You can spend the whole day weeding, but if you don't plant any seeds, you won't have beautiful flowers and fruit a few months from now. And in the same way, we spend all our time throwing down seeds without thinning them out, without pulling up the weeds. The seeds won't have enough space to grow. So recognizing that, yes, we're going to do some work today to clear out any blocked energy in the physical body, mental body, emotional body. And choosing your intentions as seeds to be planted, what you want to see grow in your life, in your future. Please take a moment to set your intentions. And once you have, bring the palms pressed together at heart center. Beginning our practice with two cleansing breaths and one ohm to set the space. In through the nose and out through the mouth. This time, sigh. <sighs> this time, home. Oh.
with the eyes closed, rub the hands together, create a little bit of heat and friction with the hands. And press the hands over the eyes. Feel the heat of the hands soften the face and sneak in a little smile. And when you're ready, flutter the eyes open and float the hands down. Interlace the fingers, inhale, flip the palms, open the heart. And exhale, tuck the chin, round through the upper back, press the palms away. Just two more, big inhales. And exhale. Last one. And on the exhale, round it down. Inhale up through center. Exhale, float the hands down, fold at the waist. You can kind of wiggle your way into this forward fold. Only go as deep as feels comfortable for you. Send the breath right where you feel the stretch. One more full breath cycle. And slowly start to come on up. Switch which foot you have in front or on top. Inhale, sweep the arms up, touch the palms overhead. Exhale, left arm lowers, right arm reaches. Inhale up through center. And exhale to the other side. And just find a rhythm. Find the breath. Taking the slowest, deepest breaths you possibly can. And taking two or three more. Just make sure to end on the opposite side from where you began. And meeting in the middle, big inhale. Exhale, gentle twist to the left, float the hands down. Inhale up through center. And exhale, twist to the other side. Two more. Feel as if your hands are just sweeping and clearing your energy field. Last one. Inhale up through center. And exhale once again, fold. Again, you can rock. This is kind of our first touch point to the hips. Send the breath there, three deep breaths. Last one, big in. And next. And slowly come on up. Release the legs out in front of you. Give them a nice little shake. Inhale, sweep the arms back and up. And exhale, folding forward. Two more just like that, big and And exhale. Last. And exhale, fold. Make some circles with the feet in one direction. And the other. 
and come on up. Hands at shoulder height. Just point and flex the hands and the feet here. And circles. And reverse. And grab a hold of the back of the left leg, sit up nice and tall, circles with that left leg. And reverse. And release. Second side, grab a hold of the hamstring, sit up tall, circles and wonder. And reverse. And release. Hands at shoulder height, palms face up. Fingertips to the shoulders, inhale, elbows together and up. Exhale, down and back. Couple more big inhales. And exhale. Last one. And reverse direction. Last. And release. So legs can stay straight or they might come back to a cross-legged position, whatever's most comfortable for you. And reach the fingertips wide, shoulder blades down and back. On an exhale, chin to the chest. And inhale, ear to the shoulder. And exhale, chin to the chest. And to the other side. Big. And exhale. And just find your rhythm here. Deep in. And exhale, and just feel the stretch through the front of the neck. More than the back of the neck, focusing on when you come up, lifting the chin, feeling the stretch across the front. Let's take two more deep breaths. And come on up to center. Reach the right hand down and around and behind you until the right fingers are on the left side of the body, palm faces away from you. And then interlace the left hand into the right, hug the left elbow in, and sit up nice and tall. So this is where we're starting to open up the front here, which can help relieve what's happening in the back. Big inhale. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and feel that stretch across the front of the right shoulder. You can lift your chin up towards where the wall and the ceiling meet. You can even stick your chin out a little bit, a little underbite, and you'll feel the stretch all the way from the chin down into that shoulder. Two more deep breaths. Last one. And when you're ready, sit back up to center. Ooh, that was a good one for me. <laughs> Swing the hands around to the other side. So same thing, second side. Left palm on the right side of the body, palm faces away. Interlace the fingers. So try the opposite pinky on the outside. And then hug that right elbow in, sit up tall. Squeeze the shoulder blades, start to feel that stretch across the front here. Couple breaths here. And then when you're ready, start to drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades and the elbows together. This might be enough for you, or maybe you stick your chin up towards that corner of the room. Maybe even stick the lower jaw out.
And slowly come on back to center, shake it out. And just roll through the neck a couple of times, not tipping the head too far to the back, but just a gentle circle. Think about circling around the center axis here and circle in the other direction. Beautiful. Let's come on down onto the back. <laughs> We're gonna do some of this abdominal work here today. So flat on the back with the knees up towards the sky. And just taking your hands, start to press down and in and up. So almost like you're scooping the hands through in the belly area. And you can bring your fingertips almost to the pubic bone down in the lower abdominals. And you can work around the insides of the hips. So kind of scooping with your fingertips all around through the pelvic bowl. And then along both sides of the belly button and the straight line up towards the ribs. If you find an area that's kind of tough, that has a lot of tension, you can hang out there for a minute and just press and breathe. You can also do some little circles. And in the areas that feel tight or stuck. Make sure to do both sides. Use your breath as a tool for letting go. How far up are we going? Are we just stopping kind of at our belly button level? Um, you'll basically work through the whole area. So let me see if I can just show you guys instead of doing it. So you'll work down in this area. That's kind of through the pelvic bowl. And then I work all the way up past the belly button up towards the ribs on these two lines making some circles. Something that's an interesting sensation is to actually work the belly button, almost like you were going around a compass. And in my training, that the belly button was our first wound. It was our first cut. And so some tension and emotion can be held up in there. And then like when I'm standing up, everything kind of hardens, so I can't really get in. But when you're laying down, this softens and you can get up and under the ribs is what we're gonna do next. So hopefully that helped, awesome. And the nice thing about self abdominal massage is you, re you really can't do it wrong. <laughs> I work on a lot of people and having someone else work on this area of your body can be pretty intense, you know? They don't know exactly your tender spots. So I invite you to just take this last minute or so to just explore the whole entire abdominal cavity up and under the ribs, down and around both sides, around the pelvic bowl, around the belly button. You can actually move up the spine on either side of the spine from the front side. It's an interesting sensation. We'll be here for about five or six more deep breaths. Just explore, just breathe and receive.
Last couple deep breaths. Last. And when you're ready, let's toe heel the feet wide, knees knock together so that heels can come as close to the body as you would like. And the feet can come as wide as is comfortable, as long as the knees are still touching. And just bring the hands to the belly and let the heat of your hands just soften the belly. Feeling so grateful for all the work that all of your internal organs do for you, that you don't have to Put it in your calendar or set a reminder that the organs are just working for you all the time. So much gratitude, send them that gratitude. Two more deep breaths here. Last. And when you're ready, we're gonna go right into Supta Baddha Konasana. So we usually do this pose at the end of class, but we're gonna do it right now to give the belly a little bit more time to settle in with all the work that we just did. Grab your pillows or under the legs as you bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide. Palms face up. Tuck the shoulder blades under, lengthen through the back of the neck. And let yourself surrender here for a moment or two. Actually, it'll, it'll be more than two moments, but just start to focus on the breath. As you inhale, just feel the breath moving all the way down into the belly, into the pelvic bowl. Can you feel the breath touch that place? The space that we just created in the belly, inviting it to just fill up. Fill up with a new way of feeling, a new way of being. Your forward focused intentions on how they feel. Four more deep breaths. Last. When you're ready, slowly slide the hands under the knees and press them up. You can set your pillows off to the side. So heel the feet as wide as the mat. Hands come to cactus or focal arms, big inhale. And on an exhale, drop the knees to the right. Let the left knee fall towards the earth. So you're on the inside edge of the left foot, outside edge of the right foot. 
And the knees are both dropped to the right. Take a moment to just let gravity do this work for you here. 40 breaths. You might reach that left arm straight back. That's just going to intensify if you choose. Three. Last. When you're ready, slowly come back through center, settle in, adjust your hips and shoulders, pause for the inhale. And on the exhale, both knees to the left. Let gravity assist you, and maybe you reach that right arm straight back. 40 breaths here. Last one. And slowly come up. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself just a gentle squeeze. Pick the hands behind the hamstrings and kick yourselves up. So from here, just a little bit of that same self massage here in the upper half of the body. So reach the hands up and squeeze the shoulders. And circle through the neck and just massage into the neck. In the shoulders. If you find like a trigger point or a knot or a bump in the shoulders, put your fingers on it, give it a little pull, and then just move the shoulder around. And try that on both sides. Massaging the shoulders, the back of the neck. You can even take the hands and squeeze these big, thick muscles on the side of the neck. Just nice and gentle here. I find it's easier to do it just on one side, just to squeeze. Do the other side. I find whenever I have stuff in the back of my shoulders, I also have it in the front of the neck. So, ooh. You work your way up and down the scalenes a little bit there, around the collarbone area. Give yourself a little tapping on the chest. And let's get into my favorite hip stretch, pigeon pose. So keep a pillow handy on either side of the mat. You might choose to use them in pigeon pose. Coming into the tabletop position. And when you're ready, bring the left leg forward so it goes across the mat. So left knee to left wrist, left foot towards the right wrist. It might not reach that right wrist. 
You're welcome to bring a pillow underneath the left hip if you like. And so this is great for stretching out the front of the right hip, also the left hip as well, the outside of the left hip. And when you're ready, you can come on down onto the forearms. If you have a block to place under your forehead, feel free to do that or a pillow, or you can do two stacked hands, two stacked fists. And a nice few deep breaths here. Send the breath right into the head. Or any other areas of your body that are calling for that breath. Four more deep breaths. Last one, big enough. And exhale. And when you're ready, slowly start to come on up. You can shift your weight into the left hip, swing the right leg forward, and then the left leg back. And you'll shift up onto the hands so that that right knee is towards the right wrist. Right foot towards the left wrist. Take a minute to settle in here. If you'd like to use a pillow underneath your right hip, feel free to do so. I like to even kind of like lift my heart a little bit. You almost might feel this a little bit in that psoas area. Big inhale. And when you're ready, come on down to the forearms. You can use that block for under the forehead or two stacked fists or two stacked hands. Let yourself really settle into your breath here. Four more deep breaths. Last one, big inhale. And exhale. Come on up onto the hands. Shift the weight into the right hip and swing the legs around. If that pose ever becomes too much for you, you can always come into figure four. 
So figure four is the same as pigeon pose, but without the body weight added in. So that's flat on the back. Um, one leg crosses over and then you reach through and grab a hold of the left hamstring or the left shin. So that's always available to you if it starts to get too intense. So from here, we're gonna find our way flat on the back for a final Shavasana. If you have a bolster you'd like to place under your knees, please do so. If you have a blanket you'd like to place on top of your body, please do so. Take a moment to really settle in here. Get any last wiggles and jiggles out of the way. And allow your awareness to travel all the way down into the tips of your toes. Relax the toe. Relax the feet. Relax the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. Relax the knees. Relax the quadriceps, hamstring, inner and outer thigh. Relax the hip flexors or groin area. Relax the outer hips and around into the glutes or buttocks muscle. From the back side of the body through to the front side of the body, relax the pelvic floor, the hip joints, the root. Relax the psoas, the abdominal, all the internal organs. Feel a softening, release, and relax through the entire belly area. Relax the diaphragm, the lungs and the ribs. The intercostal muscles between the ribs. Soften the heart. Relax into the chest or pectoral muscles. Into the armpits and down the side bodies to the lower back. Soften and relax the lower back. middle back, 
from the upper body. Let the shoulder blades melt into the earth. Relax across the tops of the shoulders and into the biceps and triceps. Relax the elbow, the forearms, the wrists. Relax the backs and the palms of the hands and into the tips of all 10 fingers. Slowly relax back from the fingertips to the fingers and the hands, the wrists. Lower arms, elbows, upper arms. Relax the shoulder. Down the collarbones and up the front of the neck. Around the sides of the neck and up the back of the neck. Relax all the way up the back of the neck to the back of the head, all the way up to the crown, the top of the head. Relax the skull and the Scalp, even relax the hair. And then to the forehead, let the forehead melt. Melt through the temples, the sides of the head, the ears, and into the lower jaw. Relax all the way down the lower jaw to the chin, the lips, the tongue. Even relax the teeth and the roof of the mouth. From the roof of the mouth through the sinuses to the nose and the cheeks, relax across the nose. And into the eye area, relax the eyebrows, the eyelids, the circular muscles that line the eye sockets. Even the eyeballs relax and sink deep. There's a gentle inwards and upwards rotation of the eyes, nothing forced. Totally natural as your awareness comes to the center of the brain at the tippy top of the spinal column. Relax the brain as a muscle, feel it soften. And come into a state having really felt into your body today and then transcended it. No longer identified with any aches or pains, just being. In the same way, you can transcend your mind, no longer identifying with emotions, with this being. And in this present moment, all of the past patternings, physically, mentally, emotionally, all exist. So too does the future. Choosing to see that future in the form of intentions as you call them into the present moment by deepening the breath. Wiggle the fingers and the toes, the wrists and the ankles. Move the head from side to side. 
Reach the arms up overhead, take a nice full body stretch, fingertips to toes. Bend the knees one at a time, bring the feet to the earth below you and roll to either side through the fetal position for just a moment. And when you're ready, gently press yourself up. Find your comfortable seat. Bring the palms to press together at heart center, thumbs into the chest, fingers spread wide, radiating the healing of the present moment all the way back through the past and forward into the future. As we seal our practice with two cleansing breaths and one ohm in through the nose and out through the mouth. This time, sigh. <sighs> this time, ohm. <sighs> Thumbs to the heart, lips, and forehead reminds us to keep present with both past and future in our hearts, in our words, and also in our thoughts. So we bow to each other just to all beings, the energy, the intentions within me, honor and support the energy and intentions within each of you. Namaste. Hmm. Thank you guys so much for being here. Mm.